Hello. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a camera rig setup that I made for a football game. And that is the helmet POV camera. So I had a camera cage for my R6. Um, and it has a bunch of like threaded holes around it. And I got the idea of mounting a face mask to that. The idea behind this was to get a POV of some pregame stuff at the football game. And so with that said, I started looking into what I might need or what would help me build out this um, helmet cam, I guess. And, you know, I could have probably maybe got someone to put a GoPro on their face mask or something, but I really wanted to be able to see the face mask. So I really wanted it from the eyes of the player. And so that's what came of it was, I don't even know if, let's see if I could fit this in. So the camera would sit here and it shoots through the face mask, obviously. Um, so it's built up of small rig arms. These are made by small rig. Um, the cage is newer or newer. Uh, N E E W E R. Um, it's an affordable cage, but it's very strong and sturdy. Um, and then I got the face mask from um, one of the coaches at Pitt State, the school that I cover. And then uh, these are also small rig uh, clamps. So I just clamped in it. There's some rubber that goes in between the clamp and the face mask. So. Um, I just kind of tried to build that as strong and sturdy as possible. So when I have the camera in there, I'm able to hold the camera and the face mask isn't gonna shift angles or anything. So from the first time using it this weekend, um, I got an idea of how to shoot with it easier without it being wobbly. Um, it also expanded the ideas in my head of what I could do at the next game. Um, it was a very uh, short period of time that I got to use it, and I didn't have a lot of planned shots. I just had a couple of shots. We have the gorilla walk, um, the football players walk from the weed, which is our gym, gym uh, weight room where all the offices are for athletics. It's like the hub for athletics. They walk from there down the sidewalk with, the sidewalk is lined with like fans the band, the cheer, the dance team all walk down there. The football team follows them. It's kind of like a huge pep rally right before they enter onto the field. So I knew I wanted to get some shots as if I was a player walking through that crowd and also getting the shot as they go up to Gus. So Gus is our mascot, the gorilla. Um, we have this huge gorilla statue now. So they go up into um, this courtyard and they usually touch Gus on like the hand or the bottom of the statue. And then they keep walking through the bands playing and then the players go onto the field and do pregame. So I kind of wanted to get that shot. Um, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and just let the photos roll. You could kind of see the progression of the pregame activities. And so here they are. All right, so now that you've seen the photos, I'm gonna go over the gear that I used. Uh, like I said, I used the Canon R6, and for the lens, I'm using a 24 millimeter F1.4 lens. Uh, 24 is the widest I have. I feel like any wider, it would have been too wide, and I feel like even a 35 would have been too tight. I wanted to exaggerate the view, that this 24 might be wider than what a football player would actually see um, in the photos you're probably seeing more face mask than what the player would see if they're wearing the mask um, wearing the helmet 
but I wanted to really exaggerate what exactly is happening here so it's not just a couple blurry white lines. Um, for settings, I had the focus going right through the eye hole, um, through the face mask, and letting it focus on whatever's in front of it. Um, I also tried to shoot at f8 or higher. Um, that way more is in focus, that way the face mask isn't just blurry, completely blurred out. Um, there is an instance where I was shooting the huddle and I wasn't paying attention. I was scrolling through images and I also changed my f-stop in the progress of doing that, in the process of doing that. So it put the lens down to f1.4, which then caused it to uh, the face mask to be slightly out of focus. So once I figured out I was at f1.4, um, it was too late to get another huddle shot with it at f1.8 or f11, whatever it may be. I also ran auto ISO, so I had less hands and less movement going onto the camera and the setup so it wouldn't mess up any of the levelability um, or the framing that I had the camera in. Because though it feels super sturdy, it still had a little bit of movement in there. I could probably add one more arm in there. There's only three arms on there, three clamps. I could probably add another arm on the side that's missing one um, to really sturdy it up. But I really liked doing this idea. It's definitely not my idea. I've seen other iterations of this build. Um, I've seen other shots done with this, but I thought us as Pitt State have a really unique game day for D2 football. We have this huge pep rally before every game. We've got a bunch of people in the parking lot tailgating, and we've just got this huge like passion for gorilla football. And so with the gorilla walk up and stuff, it's always packed, always full of kids and people and just a bunch of things going on, food trucks. And I just thought that it'd be kind of a cool thing to show. So I got those shots. Um, I have a few pregame shots that I'm gonna try to work out next time. Um, I really wanna get the shot of running out with the team better. Um, most photographers kind of just stand on the field and you won't see it in these images, but there is, I'm like running right into these photographers frame and I don't wanna be that guy that's in their frame, but it's also one of those things where you gotta get the shot when you can. I'm working with the school, like I'm with the school. So um, I feel like I have a little more free reign uh, when it comes to what I wanna get and where I can go. Um, and I just really wanna be different. I don't wanna keep shooting the same stuff year in and year out. I've been covering Pitt State athletics for a couple years now. And even before that, before I was with the school, I was, um, still covering them at multiple sporting events and I'm just trying to find ways to change up my photos so they're not just the same every game or every year. Um, I really want to give that variety to the school and just have the variety in my work. So with that said, I'll probably have another video on this down the road. Um, I'm going to try to do some video at the next game. We'll see how that goes if I can find the time. Um, I am there to be a photographer, not video. So if I do do that, I've kind of have to fit it in where I don't feel like I'm taking up too much time, but I have an idea of throwing my camera into 120 frames per second and doing some really cool video shots with the face mask on. Um, with that said, I'm almost to 800 subscribers. Last I looked a few minutes ago, I was at 799. If you want to be that 800th, smash that subscribe button hit that like button, leave a comment down below to help the algorithm push my videos out. I'm hoping to do more um, videos and just start creating more thorough content. Um, I have a lot of free time. Uh, due to budget cuts, I lost my full-time job. So with Pitt State Athletics, I'm gonna be really pushing my content, trying to really find different shots and be unique and really set Pitt State aside and make them stand out in the D2 area of sports photography. And I feel like we have a great set of creatives here. Um, and I'm simply just a freelancer for them. Like I'm not a, like officially with Pitt State. I'm just their freelancer of choice. So I'm always on the, I'm the go-to um, right now. So 
I'm just going to keep building and keep changing and keep making, you know, unique content when I can and uh, just do the best I can in my field. And yeah, I appreciate you uh, watching this video. Um, if you're new here, like I said, subscribe. I can hit the 800 on the way to 1,000. Um, yeah, thanks again. I'll see you next time. Peace.